It's the perfect campfire song, candidate song, basket case song by Green Day. Who hasn't want, who hasn't been at a campfire and wanted to play basket case before? Uh, but you just can Anyways, I'm going to have two options for you. But first, I would like to thank, in particularly heartfelt fashion, Mr. Alan Gorham for signing up for the Patreon supporter of the cause. Club Alan, thank you so much. And I just realized... If we gave both your names nicknames, you'd be Al Gore. So thank you, Al Gore. And everybody else, if you'd like to take our relationship to the next level and find out what that's all about, of course, the link will be in the description. <laughs> if you like introduced, my name's Alan Gorham, but you can call me Al Gore. All right, first option is the Coldplay chord option. Now, this song is in the key of E, and the, the Coldplay chord option works particularly well for songs in the key of E because your open E string and B string are, of course, the notes E and B, and those are the number one note and the number five note from our E major scale, and those two notes are always okay to hear over or under any of the chords from the key. So make your power chord just like you would. By the way, I'm going to stay in standard tuning. It's going to be a half step up from, you know, the Green Day album version, but we're at a campfire. We're not going to tune our whole guitar over and over again. Do your power chord just where you did, but now instead of being palm muty on just the bassy notes, you're going to let the E and B strings ring out and it's going to sound like a Coldplay song. <laughs> When we switch to B, you're going to move your power chord up just like you did, but then add your major third on the G string 8th fret with your middle finger. So it's like your horrible, awful bar chord that no one likes to do, but you don't have to bar it. C sharp is going to be the same just like E on the 4th fret, and then G sharp is going to be the same just like B on the you know same fret of the, relatively speaking, E string. We're going to move up to A, just a half step higher. E is in E and then to B. So here's the verse. Thoughts on that G sharp being major. Here's the thing. The melody goes to listen to me whine. He sings the minor third of our G sharp note, so I personally have trouble playing the major and singing the minor. Um, yeah, but it totally works on the recording. Maybe he just didn't play the major third when he was singing, and he did when it was an instrumental. More ear ball work needs to be done there. But your option, if you also have trouble uh, singing and playing two different notes, is uh, to play the Coldplay uh, version of G sharp minor, which is going to be A6, D6... G4, and you can't strum your big E string now. So. And then everything else is the same. Sometimes I give myself the creeps. A. B, just like the song. E. Different. You're just going to do the power chords, but leave the open E and B strings. 7th fret, 5th fret, 4th fret. A, B, and here we go. You can, yeah, I mean, the best way to do this would be go. Just like in the song, but we're going to leave that minor 3rd off the C sharp minor. And, uh, yeah, the reason why you wouldn't want to do it here have to kind of switch to that aforementioned G sharp minor shape up here at the uh, ninth and 11th fret C sharp and that's just I don't know this looks cooler anyway the thing with the graspin to control part is it comes out of the inter thingy so rather than go to A by making this big huge switch, I mean you can if you want to and you like this one particularly, but you can also go from your B, which is where you left off, get rid of your pointer finger and move your ring and pinky fingers down two frets and you're left with an A suspended two. Press to control, so I better hold.
Now for the outro, which I felt so triumphant to figure out the motion in, in the real Basket Case video, uh, so you've, you've got the open seven, six thing, E, E, and it's major third, and that D6 becomes D7. The thing with this is, our G string is left open, and we do not, under any circumstances, want to hear that open G string, because it makes it an E minor, and in this case, it makes it an E minor and an E major at the same time, and that's just horrible. So you gotta mute that G string if you're gonna do this. But you kinda lose some of the open ringy outiness, but it's so cool that I'd probably keep it the same anyways. So your C sharp two finger power chord and that D six becomes a seven as well. And then you do your A, E, B, right? See what I mean? So maybe just do the first one. like this song. A, E, B, and then A, low E. Up to B. That was a long way to move. I don't know. Whichever one you want. Okay, that's method one. Here comes method two. Now method two, the capo method, has the advantage of you can put it in whatever key you want. So normally to play a C-shaped E, we'd put capo on four. Uh, the entirety of Dookie being detuned a half step. He's playing an E position, but he's playing an E flat. So you just, it's as easy as putting your capo on the third fret instead of the fourth fret. And now we're playing C shapes. That is, shapes that are in the key of C. C, G, A minor, E major, F, C, G. And in this way of doing it particularly, I have uh, a terrible problem trying to sing the major third and play the minor third, so I think I just play E minor. Same exact, you know, aforementioned issue, just play E minor instead. C, and on the G you can play Tom Petty G. And do the sus4 on that uh, B string first fret. Yep. For the chorus, F. Sometimes I G myself the C, and you can sus four with your pinky there to your heart's content. Same thing again. Now it all keeps adding up. Here we go. We have an impasse here. You could do a couple of things. The first thing would be play a C. I think I'm cracking a B flat, and then A minor that if you like that. I don't know, that sounds too definitively B-flat, which is the actual chord of the actual song, but something about the campfire version makes me want uh, this chord, B3 and A1, with the kind of the open stuff in there, and we could name that any number of things, but I think of it most often as G minor with a B-flat in the bass, so that would be, it all keeps adding up C. That whole part. to control is just FG. Then we do a verse, of course, and the outro is actually really cool in this campfire version. Play your C and sus for it with your pinky finger on the D string third fret relative to the capo, and then when you switch to A minor, you do the same thing with your pinky, the rest of your hands, just in a different shape. So D string, third fret. And then F. That's it. Two ways to campfire 
basket case. I, I had a good time bringing that to you. I hope you had a good time as well. Thank you all so much for being here, and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye. <laughs>